unfortunately I don't have a camera that syncs with this old CRT monitor so if flashing lights are a problem for you please do not watch this video. My nostalgic platform is the Rubber Key ZX Spectrum. It was the first computer I ever got but by chance I ended up with this Atari 1040ST. One thing I really like about it is it came with this original monochrome high-res CRT monitor and since all my other machines are connected to LCDs I really wanted to uh, keep this uh, monitor on display and use it but as Atari 104 STE users will know um, programs will only run on it that are written for it and as you see here if you try and run a color program you get sorry must use a color monitor there are about 150 games that I found that do run on the mono monitor but the vast majority of them don't and I've really got together the best of the ones that I want to use from the monochrome base so I was intrigued with my spectrum background to see that there was a spectrum emulator for the Atari STE which actually runs on the monochrome monitor so my immediate thought was great that means I can now choose from the 10,000 plus spectrum games to play on my Atari however there's a big catch and the catch is that the emulator on this Atari model only runs at about 60% on average of the normal spectrum speed. The good news is however I have managed to find 15 games that fit on one floppy disk that do work pretty well. Okay so let's insert the floppy disk with those 15 spectrum games on it and load it and let's start with the first one which is Ada Astra This works quite well, as you can see I'm using the standard joystick and I can move this around at uh, appropriate speeds, I can fire, uh, in this case I'm just avoiding the planets and I'm soon going to have some uh, enemies to shoot down, here they go, yep. oh, ah, and I'm dead, but anyway, you can see the point, this one works pretty well and because it's just got basic sound, it's fine. So now I'm loading Dan Dare 1. Uh, this works pretty okay, but interesting enough, none of the other Dan Dare series um, is even slightly viable. So I'll press 1 for options. I want to use the Kempston joystick, um, and then I want to press enter, and then I'm going to press fire. And as you see, everything is moving at a reasonable speed. Dan Dare and Digby speed over the asteroid. Um, this motion is fine, it's probably a bit slower than the original, but it's fine um, as the intro. And then when you actually get there, here he goes. I mean, you you know, you've got all the actions and uh, no issues at all. And it's obviously a bit slower, but there we are. You know, you can you can play the game. And of course. Sometimes when things are slow, let's go down here. Sometimes when things are slower, they're easier. So, providing they don't make it too simple, you actually can get a bit more gameplay. And this one really is, you know, it really does work. 
no issue at all. Now let's look at a real classic um, jetpack. Started. Now it is noticeably slower, but it's good enough to play the game. And uh, you know, you can do what you have to do. There it goes. Ooh, I don't like the look of him, but better, better go down. Right, now I'm going back up again, etc. etc. But as you can see, you, you, you know, you, you can play the game, there isn't a big issue with the speed here. Um, there we are. We'll get some fuel in a minute, won't we? I, of course, I couldn't resist seeing what uh, Manic Miner, the absolute Spectrum Classic, looked like. Um, the first thing is the music at the beginning, which of course was all disjointed anyway, sounds absolutely appalling because it's interpreted very badly. You put two things together and it's just extremely irritating. So what I've done is snapshotted it after the music in the intro. And um, so, here we go. There he is. And uh, he moves quite well. Uh, that is playable, if again, a bit slower than was attended. Oh dear. Oh. There we are. And even the signature tune, you know, sounds recognisable. Uh, now loading um, pinball game. I'm trying to remember. I think it might be Micromuse Pinball. Um, Microball. That's it by Steve F. Evans. I don't remember which of the uh, keys that um, start everything off here. Ah, there we are. And then I think the, those are the flappers, flippers even. And uh, you start it off like that. Uh, and it's again it's a bit slow but actually you can play it you know um, uh, and you still have a you know a challenge once it starts hitting some of the other things and look I told you it was a challenge so that one works pretty well too now loading um, another ultimate game. Actually Simon Goodwin suggested they would be good ones to use and he was dead right. Um, so um, here we go. This is uh, what's it called? Sable Wolf. So start game. Tune a bit awkward but it works. And uh, here comes our Trepid Explorer and he moves pretty quickly so there's absolutely no way you have to worry about not getting some gameplay out of this. I think I just got myself something to eat. Oh, I don't know what I'd do with that. But anyway, you can see that Oh, oh not sure what happened there. But anyway, you can see this one works pretty well. Now just loading you know, one of the traditional early type games when they were more um, copying physical board games, Scrabble. Scrabble um, works fine. Um, I'll call that ZX1. Um, I won't bother to see him thinking. And there we are. Um, I've chosen the black and white option in the Scrabble game, and um, 
that works fine because you can see the different shapes and it's all that comes out on this badge video but you can see the different shapes and here we are spectrum is um, slightly slower than usual playing Scrabble with itself um, though obviously you can choose to play Shadows from the Dark Side is one of those um, games that appeared on a sort of uh, library or cover disc um, it's written in basic um, but I chose it because it uses screen images rather than movement and thought that would work uh, I didn't account for the fact that there was some music in it which just did not translate and took a ages for it to run through the tune but because it's in basic I um, shortened all the pauses dramatically and I changed the beat levels um, to try and get it to what it should sound like. It sort of worked but not perfectly so let me just run it and uh, you'll see what I mean. The intro has a, a little bit of simple beat music um, and it does now run at a sensible speed and sounds almost in tune. Right, um, and the way this works is very simple. You decide what direction you want to go in um, by using that uh, arrow there. So I could go that way, that way, or I could go that way. Um, so I'll now select that way, and you get into the next room. And like these sort of games, you know, you can pick up an object, uh, you need to find food, etc., etc. In fact, there's a, a, a T, U, E, F are all separate options for things you can do. But it works fine. And um, uh, because it's going from room to room as a screen, then, you know, there isn't much issue. It uh, draws the screen quick enough. Now loading uh, Underworld. That's another ultimate game. Um, like Sabre Wolf and Attic Attack um, and as we said before for some reason these ones well Simon Godwood could explain the technicalities um, Goodwin not Godwin Simon Goodwin um, but bottom line is for whatever reason this is very usable indeed you know, here he goes he moves around fine goes into the next room fine etc etc jumps fine um, and falls over fine now loading a very simple sort of platform game I chose it because it had slow to very fast modes and I have snapshotted it at fast mode um, on the basis that it will be a bit slower on here Basically, the idea is you avoid the uh, uh, whatever they are that come in your way, and you pick up the other things along the way. Whoops! I must pay attention. Um, actually, level one is now very, very simple. But as you go through the game, it, you get more and more of those uh, downy and up-down lifts, and it, it does actually become quite hard and. Uh, worth playing. Uh, the only thing is when you die you really do die. For the sake of brevity I won't do all the games but I can't miss out Cookie. So um, here's Cookie. bit slow the music, this intro, bit slow, but 
quite workable, not an issue. If you didn't know it went faster, you wouldn't query it. And uh, his movement is uh, excellent, a bit slow of course, but you don't have any issues. And so on, you can get round the screen and you can play the game. And again, um, with it being a bit um, slower, you can actually probably get a lot further than you normally would. Um, I think, I don't know what the dying's like yet. The dying here is pretty okay. That's it.